thesmartlocal.com According to the Maya Briggs Type Indicator Assessment, people fall into 16 different personality types based on four preferences. Either E, extroverted, or I, introverted, S, sensing, or N, intuitive, T, thinking, or F, feeling, and J, judging, or P, perceiving. It is said that there are some personality types that are really compatible, whereas some are challenging opposites. We decide to challenge this notion by putting it to the test. We're sending one guy on three dates with three girls with different MBTI personalities. One would be the most compatible, one a potential complement, and one a challenging opposite. Will he pick the girl who supposedly is the best match to his personality? Hi, my name is Bolin Chen. I'm 27 years old this year. I'm a YouTube producer here in the Smart Local. So my friends will think of me as a very outspoken person and always there to dream. I, I do a lot of decision making based mostly on emotion. I guess in this case, I think it's very good because love is illogical. I'm about 65% nervous. I'm literally not really ready, but let's go. My name is Jamie. Uh, I'm twen turning 24 this year. I can say like quite observant, like detail-oriented, and also probably um, empathetic. Like I'm quite realistic la, and quite like practical. I like to banter with people like you humor. Uh, don't really have any expectations, just have fun. Yeah. I'm Rina and I'm currently 21 this year. I would say I'm adventurous, adaptable and independent. They normally think I'm outgoing, but I'm actually very shy. I think it, it might be awkward because I'm a very awkward person. Hi, my name is Charlotte. I turned the big two like last year. My friends would say I'm the loud one in the group. I'm like the energizer, you know. I'm always like very impromptu and things like that. Because I have never dated before. I just hope he's tall. <laughs> tall guys like short girls. Short guys like short girls. But tall girls get the cats. Meow. Yeah, yeah, I did. I, I guess you kind of like lobster. Uh, yeah, I like seafood. Me do you, too. Do you like? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I mean. okay. I think she is very well spoken. She smiles a lot, very confident, and uh, quite attractive. First impression seems easy going. I mean, he was nervous, but he was still like, a good person to talk to. You guess how old I am? First? 26, 27. Oh, okay, yeah, 27. I guess you are 22, around there. 24. I'm 24 this year. Oh. Do you prefer guys that are much older? To me, like maturity is more important. Uh, so like if the person is uh, younger, but yeah. the person is like mature, yeah. because it doesn't mean that you're older than you're Correct. more mature. Yeah. Likewise la. Although she is three years younger than me, I felt like we are, you know, at the same age because her maturity level is actually quite, it's there. So what are you doing? <laughs> right Not now. now, but yeah, right now. Because I'm new in TSL. Right now the YouTube producer. What are you doing now? Uh, I was Previously doing uni, I did it halfway, so I recently um, applied to SPF. Wait, Singapore, Singapore Police? Yeah. Oh, so you are gonna sign on as if, if I get it, like, if they wow. want me. Yeah. Wow. But it's not easy to get in, so wow, I'm just okay. like managing my expectations. Right. Wow, I'll put it here. I think for you first. Must be a gentleman, right? Did my. Mmm. Oh. It's been on the outside, but yeah. inside it's very soft and buttery. So before we continue eating, let me choose a question from the question jar. Okay, is there something that you have dreamed of doing for a long mm. time? Why haven't you done it? I guess I could say my SPF thing. Ah. Because it was like a childhood ambition. Mm. Like, you know, I thought you were young and you see camera, yeah. and you're like, hey, cool. <laughs> kind of thing, but yeah. it just stuck through. 
and I kind of think that it's quite meaningful also. I really respect people that follow through their dreams and take very heavy consideration of their passion. I'll take one for you. Mm. Oh, then hard to take. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry. It's alright, you try. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> you can cut that part out. You try your best. <laughs> you try your best, but you don't succeed. The lobster, then the. <laughs> I cannot, I just. Oh my god. I... Wow. <laughs> if you can only eat one dish for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, boiled fish with broccoli. <laughs> For the rest of your life? Yes, because you see, there will be times where I eat a lot, there will be times I have to diet. Ma. But if I have to choose one, I might as well choose the diet one, ma. so I will always be healthy. Ma. But you will be happy. Logical, eh? is it? Rational, <laughs> rational. But what about you? I love noodles in general. Yeah. Like my cups, the scale, right? Uh. It's like noodles, bread, then rice. So right, I love ramen. Right, right. I wouldn't say we are entirely compatible. Some of the personality sides are like mine, few parts where we are a bit different. He was awkward lah, like because he, he he kept like being very cautious about his little movements and what, what he says. But I guess along the way it got more comfortable. It was alright lah, it was alright. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 <laughs> Hi, my name is Bolin. I'm Rina. Hi, I'm 27 this year. How old are you? Oh, um, I'm 21 this year. Wow. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, to prep some questions, maybe you want to take one first. Oh, <laughs> what is your first impression of me? A bit fast, <laughs> uh. Actually, the food haven't come. <laughs> the food haven't come. Yeah, you're very, very, very lovely. And I thought I'm nervous, but <laughs> you are more nervous <laughs> than. I'm very awkward with new people. Right. I would say he's quite different for me. I'm not sure if it's the age gap. He seems to be a little bit more outgoing. For me, uh, I like to stay at home and I'm more of like a shy person. What is your first impression about me? Oh, you're quite tall lah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I thought... <laughs> that was like yeah. my first impression. How tall do you think I am? 1.8? Huh? Taller or shorter? Taller. 1.9. Taller? Taller. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 1.94. <laughs> Almost 1.94. Yes, but you are the tallest guy I've ever met. It was pretty awkward at the start, but I think things just went smoothly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But my O level score wasn't that good, oh. so I couldn't make it to aerospace engineering. Yeah, oh. so therefore I uh, decided to pursue another goal in life. Right. What is good? It's really good. Yeah, I don't like. It's really well. Do you think the mic can hear me chewing? I think, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> what would constitute a perfect vacation for you? Anything that has got to do with nature. Like oh. adventurous and nature. Yeah. Right. Oh, but I love Taipei though. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, but I prefer uh, adventurous stuff, but I really, really like Taipei. Fun fact. Uh, I studied in Taiwan for one year, one for one year. When she mentioned about Taipei, the next moment I just told her that, in fact, I'm actually I, I've actually studied there in uh, in Taiwan in, in one, for one year. So I'm I, I I'm kind of happy because this is a similar topic that we can talk about because she loves Taiwan, and I love Taiwan as well. I so think I, we kind of can click a little bit. Maybe it'll be better if we get to know each other more. As we get to know each other more. The personality difference doesn't really matter much. I think we can kind of click well. It just we just need more time. So definitely we'll go out with her again. Quite oh, nervous, yeah. Hi. Oh hi. hi. Oh, he's very tall. Hi, hi. Oh, hi, I'm Charlotte. I'm Bolin. Bolin. Oh, you look like a Bolin. <laughs> How do you know I look like a Bolin? <laughs> I don't know, oh, it's, just, really it's just my thing. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. yeah. Have you been on a date? Because I haven't. Oh, in your whole life? 
I mean, okay, technically, I didn't even know it was a date. I, I thought it was like a friendly thing. Right, like a hangout. Yeah. He walked me home. And then after that, he was like, by the way, you know this is a date, right? Then I just like, ah. bro, what? <laughs> oh, he said bro, what? Uh. Yeah. What? <laughs> so how okay. old are you? 27. <laughs> oh my god. What's he doing? I feel like a baby. What? Huh? I'm gonna hit 21 on me. Oh, okay ah, yeah. Yeah. Being like my first time out, I thought it would be very awkward. I like that he can continue the conversation with me, like can keep up, that kind of thing. She's very chill, she's very direct. It's very easy to click with someone that, is, that has this kind of personality for me. Producers have, have uh, prepared some oh! questions, so right now I'm gonna pick one. We can take turns to pick. Is it like burning bridges? No one's that, by the way. Oh, oh <laughs> it's, a, it's a young people game. <laughs> um... <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Describe your perfect vacation. Going to Japan and eating okay. like sushi every day, and then going to Tokyo Disneyland and Disney Sea, and then after that USJ. Ah, Osaka, huh? Yeah. Okay, okay. Like going to all the theme parks. She might be a very easygoing person to to travel with because she's not really very picky. She's very easy to handle. Looks good. No, 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 it's good. If you can only eat one dish for the rest of your life, what would it be? Let me guess yours. Sushi. Ah, no, I want Close, no, close. <laughs> you just... No, sashimi. Oh, yeah. like, like, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like your friend just broke up with his or her partner. What would you do to help her or him get over it? Like that will tune now, uh, try to be the listener. The listener. Then I, I'm the guy that, let's say for I have a close female friend, then her boyfriend cheated on her and broke up. I will intervene. I will go over to the guy and really like set him straight. I don't do violence, but how about you? I will also listen. I don't want to talk too much because like they are validated to feel that way. Yeah. Once they come down, then I will start to like tell them, you know, and then I will like, yeah, let's go and punch the guy and like. Were oh. you really seriously going to punch? I'm just kidding. If you have a mutual friend. Their mutual friend broke up. See how they know. We both go over. Hey, what the we? The sort of downside of having very, very similar personalities. I think if we are so similar, if we are so emotional, right, it will end in a very bad way. If we fight, right, nobody's gonna give in, nobody's gonna stop. I definitely see him more as like a bro than like. It's definitely like super platonic. We will definitely meet again and go out again, but uh, I am pretty sure she will view me as a friend that can talk for a very long time rather than someone to date. To be honest, it's really quite a tough decision to make because each of them has their own good and I wouldn't say bad, like pros and cons in terms of the personality matching. Oh, is that hard? <laughs> Most... Oh my god, please ah. Uh. So whatever I didn't choose, please ah. Uh. Okay, please don't find me. Okay. I think my choice is Jamie. She can talk, she's not as quiet, and she loves a certain sense of maturity, passion and dreams that can we can talk about and we can click quite well. I think Jamie is the potential complement, I think. I wouldn't say, in terms of personality, the, the, the best match. So basically, she okay. was your potential complement. Potential complement, which means the middle ground. Yeah. Oh, okay, that means I'm sort of right. But the moment where we started having conversations together, I can start to feel a little bit that she might be the potential compatible one. Oh, he is actually your potential complement. I guess I can get to know him better first as a friend and hang out and then from there see how things go. Yeah. Does personality matter? Yes, it does. But I truly believe that it really depends on what you have been through with the person, whether you can click, whether you have similar dreams, similar things to say. I think do not just judge solely on personality. I think if you truly want the relationship to, to have fruit, I think it is definitely very possible. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, do comment down below and remember to like, share, subscribe and watch our other videos here. Bye-bye!